Hi Aries, how are you doing? This is your love reading from the 26th of February until the 3rd of March. So we are going to do what we always do in the, on this channel, um, which is calling your spirit guides. Mm, excuse me. Uh, spirit guides, please come in for Aries. And somebody... Oh, that's just great. I live in a city. It gets noisy. Okay. All right. So... Um, we call in spirit guides into my spirit room. <laughs> okay, my name is Deborah, by the way, and this is my channel, Energy of Everything. And I ask spirit guides, your spirit guides, please give us information on what is going on with your love life this week. This is a general read guide. If it resonates, I'm so happy. If it doesn't, check back next week. Energies are always moving and changing and fluid, and messages are sometimes specifically meant for specific people. Okay, so if it does resonate, hit the like, share, subscribe, comment. Oh, I love comments. I get to all of them eventually, so just be patient. And what else? Uh, if you want a personal read, check in the description box below. Always contact me first. Sometimes I get a little bit fully booked, and I don't like telling you oh only next week i'd rather tell you before okay so that you are aware of that all right there we go let us have a look spirit guides give us energy about and i you know i feel it in the tips of my fingers when i touch the cards king of swords energy in your energy hmm. mm, we're gonna get a clarify on that no let me first draw your person's energy out let's have a look at your person's energy and it's this one, because it touched my fingers earlier. The world caught in the reverse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Things have definitely slowed down over there. Let's get a clarifier and we can have a look at everything. Yeah. I mean, imagine Knight, the King of Swords energy. Uh, that is kind of cold, eh? That is kind of a pullback energy. That is kind of like business as usual. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Business as usual. Okay, I want that one. Let's go. Oh, you're kidding with me. How can the Queen of Swords come out? Yeah, business as usual. Gone professional on somebody. They've got the world card in reverse energy. Let's have a look. This one. I'm going to have to draw one more card for that. I need to look a bit in more into the, just the vibe over there. Why is that there? Okay, so let's see. The world card in reverse energy on your person's side. We're going to know past, present, future. I almost feel like this is somebody that you already know. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, I want to get that one card out. Spirit Guide says, let's add one extra card. I want you to show me what exactly is going on with the King of Swords in reverse energy. Oh, they want me to see. I'm not taking that one. Yeah, things have slowed down. That was the Ace of Cups. Almost like even emotions have been removed. Did you see? It was the Ace of Cups energy in the reverse, guys. Let's have a look. Let's not take that one. Let's get another. Let's see what they say. Oh, I just saw the Two of Swords. It's like protect my heart. <gasps> what is going on in this reading? It's this one. Yeah, it comes out. The Ace of Cups. It wanted to come out. It just came out. I've seen also the Two of Swords that came out. That is, I'm, I'm shocked. I literally, I'm going to have to rewind this video just to make sure I'm not seeing things. That Ace of Cups came. It flipped over. I reshuffled the cards and it comes out again. Holy moly, Aries, what is going on here? You've retracted. Yeah, that is the King of Swords energy. You've almost gone angry. And then it's like, oh, but I'm just going to be professional about this. I'm really angry. I don't care anymore. Whatever. You know, but then out comes the Queen of Swords energy. It's like, I'm not going to overreact, but I'm pulling back my energy and don't mess with me, Aries. Out comes the Ace of Cups. You've pulled your love away from somebody. Your, 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 I mean, the Ace of Cups is a beautiful energy to have, but in the reverse energy, uh -uh, that is retraction of energy. That is no mm, disappointment. Somebody has, this person has disappointed you, Aries. Wow. Well, the world card comes out and then the Ten of Pentacles comes out on their side. This, I feel like you've got so much, I feel like if you were talking to me, you would have so much to tell me about what I'm looking at on this table. I feel like you'd be able to tell me, you know what they did. You know who they think so much of themselves. They just did A, B, C, and D. And they've got a huge ego. And I tell you where they're going, they're going to go there. And let me tell you, wherever they're going, wherever you want them to go, which I'm sorry is H-E-L-L. -L, but anyway, they have the world in reverse. So possibly they could be going there. But 
look at this, you've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse energy. This is a, whoa, interesting reading. i got to say, woo. Okay, the World card. It is in the reverse energy. Let me tell you, whatever this person, this is how you're feeling. I think they made you mad. And they made you mad. <sighs> you just pulled back. You're just like, I feel like you're mad. I just feel like you are mad. Um, this is them. This is them. Two in reverse energies. Imagine. The world card in the reverse energy. This person is even afraid of themselves. They are afraid. You know when things go good in their life? It's almost like they feel like they don't deserve it to be going good in their life. The world card in the reverse energy. You know, they, uh, it's like they don't want to be disappointed in the future. So they would rather, you know, it's this classic, classical, classic move. It's like things go so well, things go so good. And then as soon as stuff starts going really well, as soon as you start getting excited about the connection, they just retreat all their energy. And you asking yourself, what the? Maybe they've done this repeatedly because the world card comes out. And they do it every time. I'm sorry. I feel like they do this every time. And every time you're like, okay, they come back again and they offer that love. And as soon as it gets to move to a more, it's supposed to move now from what it is doing, they pull it back. Let me tell you, this person, they do it. Because they got their own issues, which honestly for me, I feel that they, look at this, at the bottom of the stick, three of cups energy. Whew. Yeah, yeah, there was things said, there was things said between the two of you, and you mad. Yo, you are mad. Okay, I just pick up that, just pick up that, and you are mad. I mean, they're in their energy, ten of pentacles. I mean, this is actually stress, it can even be stress in the home. By the way, I hope that you're not living with this person and then they get cold on you like this and pull out and then you're like wondering now what is going on. That would be horrible. I mean, um, this person, person, I mean, this is stresses for them. I think they get so stressed out or they are stressed out now as well. I have this feeling like with the Ten of Pentacles being here that they actually believe that this can be worked out. I kind of feel, I keep on feeling with the world card coming out here as well. And it's what I'm just picturing. I feel like this is some kind of cycle that keeps repeating. Why I'm saying that as well? Because out comes the Ten of Pentacles and that's the ending of a cycle. So it's almost like they have this, it's stressful right now. I feel like it's a game that they play. And it's not a nice game. They're even torturing themselves. But it's like almost like they're stuck in it. I want to look a little bit more spirit guide because uh, I actually saw popping up in my mind the devil in reverse energy so i just want to have a look um it came in because it's like they're addicted to this kind of behavior of they not I, I it's like what did they learn when they were small what did what did they get taught about love and they can't handle okay i'm holding on to one card of my fingers it's this one two of yeah they can't handle it two of pentacles they cannot cope they cannot cope. That comes to the bottom card. They cannot cope with this. Um, I don't think they've got good role models. I don't think they grew up with good role models. I think I feel like they believe this is how it is in love. Now I know it sounds like, oh, shame, but they like, you know, not okay. But um, Aries, it's not your responsibility to heal this person. Because this two of pentacles is about, that's in the reverse energy. This is just too much to carry. This is just out of control energy. This is, you pull, I can, I would be mad. I'm mad with you, even now. Um, I would be mad if somebody was doing this to me. Look, I'm not born on this planet to save you. You need to save yourself. We're going with this one. Page of pentacles. Oh, there's so many pentacles in this reading. Mm, two, three pentacles came out. They, they make offers that are page offers, not knights, kings, queens. No, you. OMG, Aries, you are the king and queen. Look at this. This is your energy. It's almost like you're too good for this person. They may say that to you. You're too good for me. I feel like I'm not good enough. What do I have to offer you? Look, they're the page in the reverse energy. They may actually say, I've got nothing to offer you. 
in this thing. I'm not good enough for you. But I feel like this is a pity party. Ugh. I feel like this is the game or this is the way they view the world around them. And it's almost like they view this world. Um, yeah, they could even be younger than you with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse energy. And I think they talk to you about how they feel sometimes, but not in the way like, oh, I'm going to play this game with you, <coughs> what we're seeing over here. But in a way of, I don't know why you're with me. I don't know why you, you want to be with me. I don't know why you love me. I'm not good enough for you. I just get that vibe, that vibe coming through. Um, I feel like it's a behavior that they're stuck in, you know? They can't shift out of this energy. It's like, like they're stuck in this loop of this, this goes around in their mind. It could be things that were said to them when they were quite young and it's stuck with them. They find it extremely hard to handle this relationship. I can tell you right now, extremely hard to handle who you are. Because whoever you are, um, you really balanced. You really, I think you're really mad, but you're really balanced as well because of this two royal cards that come out and that spirit message <gasps> you will not believe what fell on the ground <laughs> and i'm taking it as i picked as i'm picking it up spirit message ace of swords in the reverse energy goodness gracious and i like i think they wanted you to hear you are not responsible for this person you are responsible for you you are you've worked hard to get here you know you've worked hard to get here You've done the work that needs to be done to get somewhere in your life to make choices and be happy. So how can you do the work for them as well? You cannot. No one can do work for somebody else. You cannot do it for them. They have to do it for themselves. Wow. Ace of Swords energy. That is the message they want to tell you. You have to pull back your energy from this person. Now we're going to talk serious stuff here. What you are already doing, you're on the right track. But if you have any hope or dream, if you don't want to be with him, just continue. Go on your way. Pull back that energy. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Pull it back. Bye. <laughs> Good luck. You know what I mean? But if you have a hope of them actually growing up, sorry, if you're a cross watcher, swap it around. <sighs> I can be harsh. I'm sad, you, hey. This words just come out five times in my planet, so... I don't have breaks, you know what I mean? Oh, goodness. Um, you know what? The spirit guides are saying, if you are interested, if you wish this would work, you've got to pull back that energy. Completely pull it back. Pull it back. Let them feel the real Ten of Pentacles. No security whatsoever from you. Let them see. Because look at this. There's four cards. They're all in the reverse energy here. A lot of cards are actually in the reverse. Only one card, that's you that's in the upright position. Just you. But almost everything else about this connection is just kind of like off energy. The only way you're ever going to help this person to come to any kind of realization as to what they may lose or to come to a realization of I need to back up in my life and face facts and face reality is to completely remove your energy Ace of Swords in the reverse, that is going to be <laughs> like a wake-up call to them. Because there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do for them. Um, you cannot try to help them, push them, heal them, tell them they're perfect for you, tell them it's fine, they're going to be okay. You can't do that. you got to pull out completely. And if they really are offering you this page of pentacles, they want it, but they have so many doubts, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, they only in the beginning stages of discovering who they are. Look at this, Ten of Pentacles. They can't go from Ace and Two to the Ten. They got to go, they got to do the work. There's a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They got to do the work to step up to a role of a king or a queen. And there's nothing that you can do to help them. They have to do this on their own. Wow, Aries, <laughs> this is yours reading. Comment below. I, I just felt like you could tell me stories about this person. You could tell me stuff. Wow. Okay, Aries, thank you for watching. What a reading. Wow. Oh, goodness gracious. Good luck, guys. Sending you light and love. Bye.